another Red Cross inspection, looking at the Paradise Ghetto. You think just once they'd, they'd want to look at Dachau or a Buchenwald. What confounds me is that no one ever asks, what right did the Nazis have to imprison us at all? They seem to assume it's all right for Jews to be jailed, provided they're not murdered. Well, I'm not so sure we're not being murdered, and systematically. Yeah. I heard one of the Czech uh, gendarmes talking about a place in Poland called Auschwitz. Ron was at it again, this time with his Red Cross Inspection Act. Mario, did I ever tell you about my kid brother, Rudy? No, only about your parents and Inga. Rudy, you ran away. Probably dead now. Maybe he's killed a few of them along the way, but five years younger than me. And he always used to protect me from the, the tough kids. Sounds like you have a marvelous family. Uh, I'll never see them again. And I don't really care if I ever see Inga. Come. She used to send these letters to me through this SS sergeant, a fellow of her family now, but at a price. You mustn't judge her harshly. The hell of it is, she was always stronger than I. Perhaps I wanted it that way. You're a talented artist. Hack. A disappointment to my parents. Both Rudy and I. We never lived up to what our father wanted. I'm sure he loved you. And I'm sure Inga does. I wonder. She should have been strong enough to say no. You mustn't hate her. When you meet her again, you must forgive her. Tell her you love her. I think I'll be spared the reunion. We'll all die here. Girl, be careful. Let them catch me. It won't be just you. We are all involved. Rudy. Whatever happened to you? make better soldiers. If I go, it'll be a loss only to modern pharmacy. Go on. Besides, I've got my protector. After all, who could stop Moses and Aaron? Get going.
Handsome? You are lucky you got through. Well, my friend knows his way around. told you would have a dozen. One gone. It's the best we could do. But it was agreed the money was supposed to be for a dozen guns. You don't want it, give it back. All we're asking for is some cooperation. We have the same enemy, haven't we? One day we can work together. Perhaps. I don't trust them. Give them a chance. If they help us kill Germans, why not? Jews don't fight. That boy. I've seen him around before. Can't be more than 13. Barrel. Chamber. Hammer, trigger, grip. You, stand there, take it. Legs apart, gun arm forward. Sight along the barrel. Front sight between the V touches the top of the target. Now, take a deep breath. Let half out, hold it. Now squeeze the trigger slowly, don't jerk it. Ready, aim, fire. Now all we need is ammunition. And several hundred guns. Ready? Well, it's a beginning. Aim. Fire. As Commandant of Auschwitz, Hurst, your job will be to expand the camp to twice its size. I understand, Reichsfuhrer, but where will the labor come from? You'll have more laborers than you can handle. I.G. Farben grabs them for their factories. I.G. Farben will do what they're told. They've been getting fat for long enough on our workers. These new prisoners will be mainly Jews? Treblinka, Belzets, the other camps aren't fulfilling the job of resettlement. Something on a grander scale is envisioned. Grander? Toward the final solution of the Jewish problem. I won't disappoint you. Ever since childhood, Reichsfuhrer, I was taught to serve and to obey. Fine. Adolf will be your liaison here in Berlin. You two should get to know each other. I understand. Are we still examining Dorf's background? If you insist. Complaints about him, you know. Overbearing, demanding. We found nothing. His father was a socialist, so what? His mother may have remarried a half-Jew again, so what? I'd almost welcome Sander evidence. In order to replace him? Or is it a way of getting at me? Reinhardt, my friend. If I'm to be a target again, or Dorf, who'll be next? These matters should not distract us. The Auschwitz program must take precedence, yes? 
absolutely right, Vera. Disturbed you. You don't sleep well. Not since that last trip east. I want to worry about you. There's nothing wrong with me, darling. And you mustn't worry. You've got to preserve your health. The children need you. I'm fine. <laughs> I know, but you hide it from me. Ever since that, that day in the doctor's office seven years ago. I knew you were a sick girl, but you didn't want me to know it. You're brave, Marta. You're braver than your husband with his boots and black uniform. How can you say that? All the important jobs you've had? Marta, the war's lost. It was lost the day the Americans came in. Our only hope was to make the best deal we can by the English and the... French and the Americans against the Russians. Doesn't seem to be working, though. We're going to win. Think that, if it'll make you feel better. But I see what's happening. I don't like you to talk that way. Darling, someday people will tell monstrous lies about what we did in Poland and in Russia. I won't listen to them. Ah, but they will force you to listen. And if they do, you must tell yourself and tell the children that I was always a good servant of the Reich. I was an honorable man who did nothing but obey orders. Orders from the very top. I won't let anyone lie about you. I don't understand it. Hans Frank, he, he boasts about the millions. Oh. And Himmler, he talks about his factories as if... There's this fellow who said Auschwitz, he is a camp commander. And he says, believe, obey, act. Oh, I wish I could be like him. And he's a kind man. He loves his children. He, he loves animals. He loves nature. Eric, you're better than all of them. All the Franks and the Hesses. Yes, better even than those at the top. Hold me, Marta. Oh, Eric, you must never doubt yourself. Oh, my child, you're so cold. Major Dorf. What? Say that again? Oh, no. Mike, what is it? Yes, I'll be there as soon as I'm dressed. What's happened? They tried to assassinate Heydrich. His car was bombed in Prague. He's not expected to live. Oh, how dreadful. Be bold. Be aggressive. This is your chance. 
and he dies, you can succeed him. Inga! I told you not to follow me. Inga, I'm trying to help you. You can pray all you like. It won't get Carl out of Theresienstadt. Can you? No, I won't lie to you. I, I love you. You can divorce him. He's an enemy of the Reich. You're a Christian. Since those times at the camp, Inga, I need you. Get away from me. Please, Inga. I hate you! I hate all of you! You are incapable of love. All you know is greed and how to be cruel. And the worst of it is, we've let you take over. We are fighting a war. Of course it's cruel. People get hurt. I have nothing against Carl. I have nothing personal against Jews. <gasps> you leave me alone. Father Lichtenberg here? Oh, no, miss. He's gone. They took him away. Away? They want him to stop talking about the Jews. Oh, dear God. Where? They wouldn't have arrested that good man. He was a stubborn priest, miss. Everyone told him, forget about the Jews. It's no business of ours. But he kept talking. But where is he? How dare they do such a thing? Oh, they do anything they want. Took him to a place called Dachau. Not a word from him since. Can I walk you home? Maybe your visit to church changed your mind about me. You can do more than walk me home. Oh, good. I may start going to church myself. That's not what I had in mind. Well, you know how I feel. I'd do anything for you. Denounce me. Accuse me of some crime. That isn't difficult. Then have me sent to Carl. Are you mad? To that Czech prison? I heard what happened to Father Lichtenberg. I want to do the same. But Inga, the best of those camps, they're not very pleasant. Just tell the Gestapo that I tried to bribe you to reach Carl. Uh, anything. You'd give up your freedom for him. <sighs> yes. For massive disinfecting such as you have in mind, Major, we recommend this. Zyklon B. I'm not a chemist. Can you tell me something about it? Yes, Zyklon B has a prussic acid base. It's in crystalline form in the can, expose it to the air, and it vaporizes. Has it been tested? Oh, it's in general use for cleansing large areas of rats, lice, other vermin. Has it been tested on... Uh... Humans? Well, you know the sort of thing, criminals, incurables. You would know better than I about that, Major. We're only chemists. I had understood unofficially that the subjects died in agony. I can only tell you it's a first-class agent for delousing, fumigation. It won't clog machinery. And there's no apparatus to break down as in carbon monoxide. Why do you mention carbon monoxide? <laughs> Rumors. Zyklon B, is it? I'll place an order with you from Major Hersett Ashworth. Very pleased to do business with security service. The shipping documents are to specify that Zyklon B is to be used for disinfecting only. Understood. Would you care to see it work? Is there any danger? No danger. A single crystal. Shower heads, drainage holes, drainage ditches. The room is sealed when the door's closed. The diesel's outside. 
Start the motor and feed the exhaust in through the shower head. You won't need diesels. We've ordered something called Zeklan B from a firm in Hamburg. They're crystals. Throw them on the floor and the gas rises. Is Zyklon B expensive? Ordered in quantity, we can cut costs to half a penny per unit. Balzac, Sorbibor, Maidenac, Treblinka, Chelmo, Auschwitz. Quantity shouldn't be a problem. Golf. Yes. General Colton Brunner. Major Huss and I have been reviewing the problems of special handling. Special handling? I was warned when I succeeded Heinrich that I'd inherit a master at language. Huss, excuse us, will you? Dorf, I'm a different man than that elegant half-breed Heinrich. Sir, that isn't fair. At his funeral, looking at his mongrel children, and his deathbed rantings, begging forgiveness for crimes against the Jews. He was delirious. Don't bother defending him. Worry about yourself. I have no worries. I have been more than diligent in expediting Operation Reinhardt. Did it say was leveled? The Jews of Poland are moving in increasing numbers. Heidrich's dead. I run the SS. You have a black mark against you. Questionable father. A communist, maybe. I was investigated and cleared. The commanders in the field are complaining about you. Informer. Schema. What do you make of these? It looks like Theresian stuff. Master Race teaches a lesson. Harvesters. Guess what, children? Dreadful stuff. One of our agents found them in Prague. That's all we need is for the Red Cross to see them. The damn things are unsigned. Get together with Eichmann and find out who created these horrors. I assure you, I'll find out. I have a feeling there are more of these. We can't tolerate them. Find out who these anonymous Rembrandts are. Find out. Sketches we finished. I can't find them. Yes, that's right. I sold them. Sold them? You sold them? Well, one of the Czech gendarmes wanted some. We agreed that the pictures stay hidden in the camp. If the Nazis get hold of them, besides, you had no right to sell my pictures! Oh, why this? What's the difference? We play this game thinking that we can change things. What's the difference? Look, Fry, I needed a pack of cigarettes and a jar of marmalade. There were only four sketches. I won't do it again. I'll share the cigarettes. I just pray the Gestapo doesn't get its hands on them. Is it a crime to want a pack of cigarettes? I sometimes wonder if this effort is worth it. So do I. The transports. They keep sending the old people and the sick ones to Poland. 
Why? I gave up trying to understand them a long time ago. you get here? Oh, Carl. Getting into a camp is no problem. <laughs> You're very pale. You're thin. I'm, I'm all right. Uh, I've got a good job here, and friends. Uh, Herr Fry. Herr Felcher. Maria Kalova. You've heard so much about you, Inga. I'm very happy to meet you all. There are worse places than Theresienstadt. That's right. We're still alive. Why did you come here? To be with you. Uh, I'm sure you want to be alone. convinced that I'd never see you again. I told you not to despair. Yes, I remember your letters. So full of hope and kind words. And I remember who brought them to me. Muller told you? He boasted about it. Inga. Why? Carl, I did it to reach you to try to keep us together. Well, you chose a strange way. When I think of that animal, that pig, and you together. Carl, you must believe me. I tried not to. There was no uh, respect. There was nothing between us. I hated him. And I hate him even more now. I would have preferred never to see you again. Would you? Others have remained alone. Without families, no letters. And they have survived. Felscher has not seen or heard from anyone in over four years. Maria Kalava, her husband was killed by the Gestapo. I felt that you were not like anyone else that you needed my love, if only in a letter. Yes. That's the truth. I would never have survived without contact from you. No matter how you got it to me. We put that behind us now. Remember when you used to call me your Saskia? Rembrandt's wife and model. We'll make the best of this. And soon we will be free, I know it. Inga, the Nazis will get rid of us long before they surrender. Well, we can't give up. And now I'm with you. And what have you got? A burned out artist without a shred of human emotion left in him. Carl, that isn't you. You are alive. I remember when your father left for Poland. He kissed your mother. And he said, no matter what happens, amor vincit omnia. Love conquers all. Why did you come? 
because I am your wife. Because I love you. And because no matter what happens, I will be with you. Six thousand a day. But how shall we select them? You're members of the Jewish Council of Warsaw Ghetto. You know your people. What do we tell them? Tell them the truth. They're being transported to family camps in Russia. Work camps? Exactly. Fresh air, good food. Parents and children together. It's better than staying in this stinkhole you've let Warsaw become. People may resist. You people haven't resisted yet. You realize since the murder of Heydrich, we can't be as merciful as we have been. But at the rate of 6,000 a day, the ghetto will be emptied. Nonsense. We just want to drain off the excess. People like you, officials, police, doctors, you'll stay. You understand? Good. Now remember, 4 p.m. every day, Seven days a week, 6,000 at the rail station. going to Russia. Where are they going? Treblinka. Three hours away. Treblinka? Another Polish work camp? It's a death camp. Polish Christians go to a work camp. The Jews go from the trains to this big building. The SS tell them it's for de-lousing. It's what we suspected? They have fake signs. Hat makers, tailors, leather works. They tell them when you get your bath, you'll be assigned a job. But they never come out. They're gassed to death. Six thousand a day? Whole families. Mothers with kids. Old people. You were right all along. Forgive me for doubting you. The British campaign in North Africa is gaining momentum. Five more towns on the Libyan-Tunisian border fell to forces of the Eighth Army. A total of 141 sorties were flown by Allied planes over France and the Low Countries in the past 24 hours. Word from Polish resistance forces states that Nazi troops are indulging in atrocities against the Polish population, including the shooting of Polish civilians. This ends our news broadcast from the BBC London. Shooting of Polish civilians. They've known about Treblinka for weeks. The gas chambers, the liquidation of the ghettos, and not a word on the BBC. Now you understand why we're Zionists. Maybe they can't believe what we told them. Or choose not to believe. We sent word to them. The Jews of Poland are being systematically destroyed. Broadcasted. Answer came back. Not all your radiograms lend themselves to publication. They think we're lying. The crime is so huge, no one believes it. There's only one answer. More guns. The Philanta on the Christian side. You'll have to go see him again. Maybe we can pull a few people off the transports. There are vacant buildings near the rail station. I've had this notion of starting a clinic there. Yes, you may save a handful. But the answer is in guns. Keep moving. Come on. Get in line. Damn 
why don't they fight? A half million of us, a handful of them. If we die, we die. Joseph, the boy with the briefcase. He's one of my pupils. We don't have to look, Bertha. Why not? can Russia be? There'll be jobs for us. It's a family camp. And, uh, <laughs> we'll be together. Hey, what's Dr. Weiss up to? I didn't know he was down here. Hey, Dr. Weiss, what are you doing down here? Mr. Lowe, you're too sick to travel. Into the clinic. Your wife also. But I don't get it. I I'm not sick. Into the clinic. What clinic? I'm trying to pull people off the transports. Don't say a word. Act sick. Go on. You don't have to tell me twice. Child looks as if it's incubated by this in the clinic over there. Please. Yeah. Oh, sick to travel. What's going on here? The rail station clinic. It was authorized yesterday. These people are too sick to travel. Is this shipment is short. I'm in trouble. You idiot. Nobody's going to get into trouble. We have orders not to let people who are incubating typhus or cholera to get on the trains. Get out of this clinic. You leave my patients alone or I'll report you. Thousand today, six thousand tomorrow. If we try to save six or ten, maybe even twenty, does it mean anything, Joseph?
against the wall. Strip it bare. We'll find them. Any idea who did this? Could have been any one of half a dozen. We pamper them, give them special privileges. And this is the way those dirty Jews repay us. Calm down, Major. Actually, they aren't bad. We want the identity of every artist. We want all the work, every sketch, every drawing, every painting. And we want all the conspirators on the outside who are helping to smuggle these atrocities. And that shouldn't be too hard to find out, should it? No, we'll find out all right. But why this fuss over some lousy drawings? We want to keep the Jews quiet now that we're entering a new phase. And no protests from the neutrals. Go on, bring them in. Seem to be in a spot of trouble, Major. You're sweating. Now there rose up a new king in Egypt who knew not Joseph. Carlton Brunner's our new king, eh, Major? Shall I? Yes, please. This is your domain. I'm Adolf Eichmann. This is Major Dorf from Berlin. May I have your names, please, where you come from? You. Otto Felscher. From Karlsruhe. Emil Frey, Prague. He's the ringleader. I'll beat it out of him. Shh, Major. You? Karl Weiss, Berlin. Now come forward and tell me which of you are responsible for these horrors. Do as the Major says. Move! Well? It's his. It's mine. This and this are mine. Pastor, I did this. Now we're getting somewhere. Major Dorf has come from Berlin to find out how many of these atrocious pictures exist, where they're hidden, where they've been sent, and who are your contacts on the outside. Try. Would you like to start? Uh, there are no other pictures? What? These are the only drawings. You. They, uh... They... Come on, tell us. Uh, the Commandant knows the work we do, you know. It's only portraits and... Well, I know of no other pictures. Rice, what is the function of art? The function of art? I believe someone said it is to enhance life. And you call this garbage life enhancing? Transport East, ghetto children? How could you produce such lies, such distortions, and claim that it's art? Because it's the truth. Then tell me why the Red Cross have inspected this camp a dozen times and never found out these conditions. Tell my wife that his wife is just alive in Berlin. That might change his mind. Why, the Commandant tells me that your wife arrived from Berlin recently. That's right. I'm sure that she'd want you to tell the truth. 
I'm telling you the truth. Felsha? Do you want to say something? No, he doesn't. Let him answer. No, nothing. What? I have the feeling I've met you. Is that true? I have no recollection of you. Now, this is Berliner to Berliner. Forget about these Czechs and Austrians. Berliner's kept me in Buchenwald for four years. Berliner sent my parents to Warsaw. Ah, that's the trouble with you people. You can't forget the past. Now, these drawings mean a great deal to me. You have a Christian wife. Something may be worked out. Free us? We could look into it. Otherwise, they'll hand you over to Ron, and your wife won't want to see you when it's over. There is no conspiracy. I... There, are, there are no other pictures. Get the information from them. Take them away. You look as pale as they do. Do I? You mustn't let it upset you. Your Ram's people will soon get at the truth. You'll be able to go back to Berlin a hero. Can you hear me? Yes, Carl. Yes! Felsche! Can you hear us? I hear you. What are they going to do to us? Beat us, I imagine. Remember our agreement. It was my fault. I saw the pictures. Felsche, listen. They may hurt us, but they will not kill us. I'm not a brave man. I'm past 60. My kidneys are weak. I wasn't meant to be a hero. You'll surprise yourself, Felscher. They tell me that after a while you don't even notice it. <laughs> oh. Felscher, stop it! <laughs> Listen, you two. Have you ever been to Italy? No. But I've wanted to go for years. The three of us. Let's make a vow. With our wives, 
a grand tour of Florence, Venice. But don't forget the red zone. I'm a Piero della Francesca man wise. We mustn't miss uh, frescoes in San Lorenzo. Siena, Perugia, Orvieto. I'll let you and Felsher make out the itinerary. You want to talk before we begin? I don't know anything. Please. to the Commandant's office and talk? I've got nothing to tell you. man's dead. Weiss and Fry won't talk. They must talk. Then I'll have to work on them some more. For God's sakes, don't kill them. Those fellows are going to end up in Auschwitz. Only after they talk.
Major Dorf says, the second you tell him about the drawings, you're free. I don't know anything. The last of them. We got them out just in time. Yeah, but does it mean anything, these pictures? It must, to tell the world the truth later. I suppose so. I was so tempted to take them all right to the Commandant and say, here they are now, give me back my coral. He and Fry would prefer this, I know. I hope so. My God, I hope so. Can you hear me? Yes. They broke my hand. Mine too. It will be a long time before we paint again. My hand of life fell, sir. We had no right to make him resist. He did what he thought was right. We can't worry about it anymore. I was a coward all my life. The kid who ran away from fights. I cried the first day I went to school. I wasn't meant to be a hero either. Line outside. They've undressed by now. Next. Sorting the clothing. All the laborers who choose special teams. What happens to them? They go eventually. The selection process. Those who work to the right. Those for special handling to the left. Inside one of the chambers before the Zyklon B is dropped. During, afterwards, special teams go in and remove the bodies. Removing teeth, cutting hair. Is Hearst making sure there's no pilferage? At Maidenek, we had to court martial some men for stealing state property. He's quite strict. Next photo. The crematory. We're experimenting with conveyor belts. Burial pits for the ashes. Lights, please. Well, you seem to have taken to your new assignment with your usual dedication, Dorf. I meant to talk to you about that, General, about being reassigned to Berlin so your job can be easier. You're a detail man, Dorf, not a policymaker. Stay in Poland. Work with the camp commandants. But there's a matter of my wife. I hate to bring it up. <laughs> a little cheating while Daddy's gone? Not at all, sir. Mrs. Dorf is ill. She's had a weak heart for years, and these prolonged absences of mine are having an adverse effect on her. Well, then bring her to our hospital. Let her take a vacation. Nothing's too good for SS White. That's very kind of you, General, but with the bombings and the shortages, I should be in Berlin with her. You amaze me, Dorf. Our armies are being bled white at Stalingrad. The British and the Americans are leveling our cities. And you complain about a sick wife. I had thought that out of my devoted service to the SS... Major! You are lucky still to be wearing this uniform. You made enemies. Covered up information about your background. It's not so. What's the difference? 
the men think you did. I am not being treated fairly. Stay in your job. Keep the camps operating. And maybe you can be transferred later. Maybe. Corpses buried at Baba Yar are to be dug up and burned. Not a trace is to remain. This is of the highest priority. The crematoria obviously are not doing the job. We suggest you start a program of outdoor burnings to destroy the bodies. Huge piles of railroad ties drenched in gasoline may prove more efficient. I suspected for a long time all the talk about spies, saboteurs, stopping disease. Where did you find those copies? Really doesn't matter, does it? You were so adamant about people telling lies about you, I knew something must be wrong. What did Kaltenbrunner say? I go to Poland tomorrow. And you didn't stand up for yourself? After all you've done for them? None of it matters anymore, Marta. Poland, the Ukraine. The walls are tumbling. Don't say that. Kaltenbrunner senses it when you talk like that. No wonder your career is in ruins. Oh, Eric, it's evident from these letters and from your behavior that you're sick of your work. You're ashamed of it. Maybe I am sometimes. But you can't let yourself be. Do what you're told till the end. That will convince people that what you're doing is right. What? My gentle martyr. How I've misread you. I thought you'd be furious. I've been supervising the killing of women and children. I'm safe. And no. all you're outraged over is that I'm not prouder of my work. But you must be. Do what you're told till the end. That will convince people that what you're doing is right. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Don't. I'm not laughing at you, Marta. I'm astounded at my own stupidity. Yes, I have no choice. I must enter into my work with more enthusiasm. Eric, I'm afraid we'll be punished. Punished? All of us. You've done nothing wrong, Marta. And I've been a good soldier. The naked people, the gas chambers, the funeral pyres. That's why they must all be done away with. So that no one knows. So that no one can tell lies about you. family camp to make them less apprehensive. Don't they realize? Some do, and there are occasional outbursts, but it's usually over with quickly. Delightful. Major, this is Professor Farnensteel, expert on hygiene from Marburg University. He's an expert on sanitation disposal and so on. Maybe of some help. Anything I can help you with, it'll be my privilege. But uh, where is the... Uh... Inside. And the subject? There's a group waiting. You'll see in a moment. Everything is made as pleasant as possible. Lawns, music, families cut together. Yes, yes. Most humane. Shall we go inside? After you, Professor. Thank you. Go. So Carlton Burner got rid of you. That's not true. Get you out of that soft job in Berlin. So now he's got you touring the special handling centers. But I hear your stomach isn't so strong. It's strong enough.
I wasn't sure whether you and the Major wanted to get so close to the operation. The heat and the stink can be pretty bad. We run 46 like this. Very efficient. No. We gave you the boot because some Jew artists wouldn't talk. That's a lie, Hurst. Someone's spreading vicious rumors. Well, don't look at me. I shove them in, cast and burn them. I just do my job. And uh, this is the actual... They're told it's a fumigating bath. A de-lousing shower. Of course, for their peace of mind. By the way, what's your daily output? 12,000, when all the furnaces are going. And when I.G. Farben or some other outfit isn't demanding Jews to work for them. Well, Major Hose has a most sensitive job, Professor. Not only special handling, but keeping it quiet. Believe me, I know. I won't tell a soul about this visit. Secrecy is our watchword. Maybe the Professor could figure out some way of cutting down the stench from the chimneys. The Pollocks can smell it for miles around. <laughs> some secret. And uh, the fumigating agent? Through that hole in the ceiling there. Zyklon B crystals. When they hit the air, they vaporize. It's over in minutes. But the stuff deteriorates, so we had to organize our own distribution system. Even set up a holding company for the shipment and sale of the stuff. But uh, only the big wheels in Berlin get to own shares. Professor? Coming. Wonderfully quiet they are. We've got it worked out to our factory system, but I'm still behind schedule. They undress, we take the valuables, we take them to the showers, we burn them and bury the ashes. Absolutely ingenious. Ready, sir. Go ahead. Come. Only a shower, just for five minutes. It will clean you up and kill the lice. There's a viewing hole, Professor, if you'd care to look. Look? Me? Uh, Major Dorf, uh, perhaps you would want to... I've already seen it. On your feet. 
What in hell is going on here? Branch clinic of the hospital, Captain. They don't look sick to me. Why, why wasn't I advised of this? You were. You can't be blamed if your office is inefficient. <coughs> this is some kind of racket. Weiss is running, isn't it? I have fever. such authorization. Nothing in my files either, Captain. Dismantle that clinic. Burn it. Put anyone connected with it on tomorrow's transport. Sing the song once more. I'm afraid not. May I speak to my husband first? He will be at the station. Teacher, you coming back tomorrow? Of course, Anne. For the rest of the day, you will read from Shakespeare. We were doing so well with Twelfth Night. Aaron, you will lead the class. You will all keep up with your studies. To be educated is to be a better person. Goodbye, children. We are to be fellow passengers. You know, Bertha, I feel about Mr. Lowy as if he was an old classmate of mine. We've been down the same road. Deported from Berlin to Warsaw, and now a family camp in Russia. <laughs> oh, no, I don't cry. We were ready for a change anyway. <laughs> So, resistance loses its printer. How will I manage? I trained Eva to run the press. Uh -huh. There's big things in the works, Doc. I'm sorry we're going to miss it. And, uh, my brother Moses, they must have come looking for him, too. He's safe. Hiding with Salman. Begin entering the car. Move quickly and stay in line. 
You will be kept together on the journey and in the family camp. Fill the car. No shoving. Families, stay together. You will be kept together at the family camp. Dr. Weiss. I'm sorry, listen, Carl. My wife can be excused. She, she's a teacher. She's an interpreter. She speaks better German than your masters. What are you giving me you for? Not a chance, Doctor. It's my neck also. You can't get rid of me that easily, Joseph. I was just saying goodbye to our friend Carp here. Don't blame me. They'll get around to me one of these days. If we don't first. Begin entering the car. Move quickly and stay in line. You will be kept together on the... Well, it's not exactly the Orient Express. Come on, now stop crying. I can't help it. I'm crying. As long as we're together, Joseph, they can't destroy us. Change of routing. Treblinka's full. You're going to Auschwitz. Family, stay together. Move quickly and stay in line. You will be kept together on the journey and in the family camp. Israel Adonai Elohim, Adonai Ehud. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, Lord is one. You don't pray? I don't know how. You? I stopped when my family was killed. May the God of Israel protect you. Something from the book, Rabbi. Any help we can get is welcome. David said unto his men, Gird ye on every man his sword. 1 Samuel. Good. You'd convince me. I've convinced myself. So, Rudy, this time don't hesitate. Kill when you have to. Messenger. Phones are out. I have a message for the captain. What captain? How should I know? I've got it right here. Here it is. Von Kalt? Is that what it is? Von Kalt?
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.